Alright, hello guys. In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the pattern from the 10th through the 15th, or maybe even through the 20th. It's really going to be a coin toss after the 15th to see whether this pattern persists or not. Now, I wanted to show you this one frame of the GFS, or it's actually, I think, four frames I've collected here. And this is Tuesday the 12th. We're going to see a storm, and this is going to kind of be an example of mine. Uh, and you can see there's a there's an area of low pressure developing near the Oklahoma Missouri area here and this is going to bring possibly severe weather to areas south of Oklahoma or in Oklahoma and south of there in Arkansas and we're going to see that tomorrow in the next day as well uh, but this is for next week next Tuesday uh, we see some possibly severe weather again on the southern end of those rain areas and possibly some snow slash mixed events there for the northern end and we're going to see this move into the Ohio Valley again some of these yellows and oranges indicates possibly thunderstorms there for the Mississippi Valley into Tennessee and into Kentucky as well so definitely severe weather possible with these storms as we get into this pattern and really rainy and warm for those southeast regions of the United States now north of where the low pressure system tracks we're gonna see cold and possibly even snowy conditions in some areas uh, but really rainy closer to the low pressure system we're gonna move on one more frame and you can see this moves offshore of New Jersey and New York City, actually. Uh, and north of there, you have snow. I don't know for sure if I believe Boston will see too much snow or New York City and New Jersey, as we saw in the last frame. Uh, but definitely that interior New England area would have a really good shot at snow with some of these storms. And you can see some thunderstorms still persisting there for the Gulf states uh, and the southeast states of the United States. Now we're going to move on one more frame and you can see this is a lot more realistic uh, as we see some of the snow in the in the areas that have been getting snow this winter and I think that this will uh, really persist this type of pattern where the interior New England gets snow and coastal New England not so much. That looks like the most likely outcome at this point. I hate to tell you guys because I know a lot of you southern New England people have been waiting and waiting and waiting uh, but I have no good news yet now we have some thunderstorms still persisting there for south carolina and georgia again thunderstorms are going to be possible uh throughout this one in the warmer areas of the united states as these track by now here's a surface pattern map that i've created here and you can see our low pressure system i have developing near the missouri arkansas tennessee mississippi area and that's really going to make its way uh one way or the other to the coast of new jersey and offshore of coastal new england now, south of your storm track, you're going to see warm and stormy conditions, as we saw. And then north of the storm, you're going to see cold and rainy conditions. And in that white section, we're going to even see snowy conditions. As I said before, interior New England looks really likely. And I know this doesn't look a lot like the map or the, the graphic that I just showed, uh, but that was just an example of a storm. I think that this overall will be the storm track that we see uh, from the fifth from the 10th through the 20th i think this storm track looks quite likely anyway guys i hope you have a great week i hope you have a great 10th through the 20th stay safe and if you haven't subscribed already uh, i would greatly appreciate it if you did for future videos uh, they'll show up in your subscription box anyway guys i'll see you in the next video